Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline and welcome back to my channel. Today I have Marissa back. She is uh, one of my favorite people to do my makeup and she just gave me the best makeover ever. You guys know that I love a really natural kind of no makeup. What do we call this? Model off duty? Yeah, totally. Editorial, you were saying? Yeah, like no makeup makeup. So the difference between actual no makeup and no makeup makeup is that there's literally a lot of makeup <laughs> on her face right now. Yeah. So if you guys want to get the look and learn how to recreate this, then just keep watching. So since we're really focusing on skin and basically the key to no makeup makeup is like really killer skin. This is the Kogendo Aqua Foundation Illuminator. This one's more of like a white shade. Um, it looks really white right now, but if you blend it out, I'm using a crown brush, kind of like a little concealer brush, um, and just kind of blend in circular motion. This is really going to bring light to those high points of the face. Um, I'm all about like dewy cream highlighters, so I'm so excited to see how this looks. Okay, so now, you haven't tried this yet, but this is like one of my most favorite foundations of the I'm time. really excited for this. Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. It's really, really beautiful. You shake it up, kind of like any type of face and body foundation, um, and it's got this really beautiful watery texture. It also has hyaluronic acid spheres. Um, hyaluronic acid literally sucks water from the environment and draws it towards it, so it'll just plump up whatever you infuse it into, um, which is amazing and exactly what we want with skin. I'm excited. I feel like normally more acne prone skin, you're told to shy away from more dewy, you know, plumping, hydrating foundations. Um, but I love a dewy finish. I don't care if I have a million breakouts and so much texture, I still want a dewy finish. Okay, so Jacqueline has one of my favorite concealers of all time, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer mm -hmm. in Custard. I think this is a little dark and it's like almost completely out, so I apologize. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use it a little bit. So I'm just gonna tap that where I want it. This is like my go-to for any blemishes. Any acne prone peeps out there, this will be your saving grace. It's so beautiful, I love the texture of this. We're not gonna do like crazy contour and highlight. I'm gonna take some of this like yellow corrector here and mix it with the concealer shade that Jocko normally uses. Um, and that's going to brighten up the eye. It's really nice if you're like obviously like working as a makeup artist and you have that in your kit because it has so many different colors. I'm always looking for things that will lessen the bulk because it, like you know there's so much stuff that goes into a kit and you have to be ready for basically anything mm -hmm. so it's really nice to have like pro products. I always say that my favorite part of doing makeup is when you get to this state where you're just completely one color you have no definition like on your face. blank page. canvas. It's hilarious looking to me. The best is when you also like put it all over your lips so you oh, yeah. look like you a have zombie. no features. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of this. This like light, it's called D11. I'm just gonna do- Are you using this for contouring? The tiniest amount. I've never done this. Yeah? No, not with this concealer before actually. I'm being extremely subtle with it, like just turn your face a little mm -hmm. bit to the side. Just the smallest amount and I'm just going to blend that out, just a little bit. I still want some of this glow to stay. I'm gonna take the same RCMA No Color Powder. Don't know what I would do without this. I need to buy this. I, I know. This. <laughs> they come in a pack of three for like not that much. Ooh. And I'm just going to dust it over the skin. So I'm gonna take this Anastasia Brow Powder. Powders look really, really natural. Um, and I'm gonna do my favorite way of doing the brows. Jacqueline obviously doesn't need way too much going on. She maybe just needs to extend the brow just a tiny bit, like literally by one hair. Um, but I'm gonna start here. And then bring it up. And just blend it out with a spoolie. And almost everybody has a little bit of sparseness around the arch of the brow here. So I just want to fill that in right there. So I'm going to take this Essence 2-in-1 eyeshadow and liner. And Essence has a dear place in my heart because that's where Jacqueline and I met. Yes. At Gen Beauty. I love these cream uh, shadows though. They're so lovely. And they're super affordable, which is what's so good about Essence. And they're cruelty free, which is really hard to find a drugstore brand that's cruelty free. Then, you guys saw this last time, but this is my life palette and I'm obsessed with it. So I'm going to have to use a few of these contouring colors. Um, just to add a little bit more dimension to the eyes because we're talking about editorial kind of no makeup makeup and that still has some definition to the eye. So I'm gonna mix these two here. This one, I can't remember the name of it. What are you called, little friend? Oh, cinnamon. Okay, so I'm gonna be mixing Java and cinnamon. I never remember the actual names of these, but Java and cinnamon always end up being my two favorites. Those are Anastasia contour kits, the refills. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of sloppily get it on 
and then I'm just blending that upwards and outwards. Okay, and then this is another one of my favorite types of brushes. This is like a flat like shading Ooh, brush, okay. it's like a smudge brush. So I'm gonna take a combination of all those colors I just used, look up for me, and I'm gonna blend that under her eyes. So I'm gonna take another pencil brush. This one's a Sigma one actually, E30. Um, and I'm gonna take a little bit more of like a darker brown here, mixing it with this one here, I believe is called Carob by Anastasia. And then this one is Truggle Brown by MAC. Close. And then here I'm keeping it so close. And with this too, you can go for like different shades. Like I love browns and like ready browns, but you can go for like a pink. It would look really pretty. Um, you could even do kind of like coolish toned grays. So Jacqueline loves this Marc Jacobs liner. I love it too because this little sharpener is everything. I've never used it, I'm not gonna lie. Did you know it exists? I did know it existed, but I, just, I never use it. Why? I don't know, I don't, why should I? <laughs> because you get a sharp line. Do you use this nub? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> so I'm just gonna lift very gently and put the tiniest amount just on the edge of the eye like that and then blend it out with that smudge brush. I love like the look where there's no detectable lines on the skin. Me too. Like this completely blended look is so pretty. And now we're gonna go in with like one of my most favorite highlighters that gets no love. I've never even heard of this. The Dior Glow Glowing Gardens highlighter. Um, it looks disgusting now, but Dior has these beautiful prints Can that I they put. It? Yeah. Ooh. It's like an opalescent, like pink. It's really, really pretty, and it works really well for like more winter time when you're going for like like a lighter tone. Not everybody can wear gold all mm -hmm. the time. This one's also so finely milled, so it just looks like. A sheen oh my god. on the face. Oh my god, I'm having a moment. Yeah. <laughs> so now that your skin is lit for the gods. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm gonna actually take a little bit with my ring finger, close your eyes, and I'm just gonna press it on the center of the lid here. And that's really gonna give you that like dimensional reflective look, especially when you have like studio lights or the lights in Jacqueline's setup. So we're gonna take Essence. Make Me Brow. This is an all-time favorite one. It's so good. Really great price for a really good product. And the model look is to have seriously brushed up like messy brows. So I'm gonna brush up almost like I'm brushing in the opposite direction of the way that her hair is. Yeah, goes. make me Taylor Hill. So now we're gonna do a little bit of mascara. And I think Jacqueline, you wanted to do your own mascara. Yeah, I can do my own mascara. I'm gonna crunch my lashes in half because I've got no lashes, so I really like to give them a good curl. Okay, so this is the Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner. They make really good colors for lip liner, and this one's like a really pretty brown pinky nude. And I'm just gonna take this on the lip. Jacqueline also has like the bow of the lip that's upturned, so it, it really catches the highlighter and looks really pretty, so I'm not gonna try to compete with that with the lip liner. And then we're taking the Clarins Instant Light. What shade is this one? It's shade six. It is shade six. This is like one of your favorites, right? Yeah, I use it all the time. We, I love the applicator. I think it's really mm -hmm. cool. Um, and you can get kind of like a stain and really build it up to a gloss. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of like tap it in the center, blend. And then we're gonna go back in with our fave product. This is basically the hero product of the day. And I'm just gonna tap that on the lip. Mm. I never do that, like with a powder over top. Yeah, it works really great as well with um, liquid lipstick. Oh, it's okay. like super matte. Yeah. It really creates like a super pouty bottom lip. I never finish makeup without a setting spray. This is the Inglot one. And I'm just gonna spray. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I know I did. This is one of my personal favorites. Thanks so much for doing my makeup. This was so fun. Thanks for coming back. Thanks on my for channel. having me back. We actually filmed another video for her YouTube channel, so be sure to check it out down below. I will link it in the description box. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Bye. And then you just kind of scrub it all over your skin, just in gentle kind of circular, mo circular, just gentle circular motions, and you just kind of buff the product into your skin and scrub like normal. Now